Good morning, everyone. Aloha. おはようございます。Thank you very much for watching this video. We are supposed to have our in-person, our Sunday school and family service from today, but due to the coronavirus, we decided to have the live streaming service again. So our live streaming service uh, so has an answer so at the end of September. So please join us every Sunday. And I hope so you and your family are doing well due to in the, these uh, trying times. So today is uh, Sunday service, about 20 minutes. And during the Dharma talk, so I give the Dharma talk. And let us convey our feeling to our Buddha. Being of the service, I'd like to have short Zen meditation, or Zazen, for one minute. So please do what I do. So at first, so straighten your back. So you can try to Zazen on the chair. And pull in your chin and extend your neck. And sway your body right and left a few times. and gradually making them smaller and smaller. Then your right hand palm up, and your left hand palm up on your right palm. Then tips your thumb, lightly touching each other, and naturally place your hands on your lap. Keep your eye half open, so not close. Cast your sight downward about 45 degree angle. Please take a deep breath so using your abdomen. So breathe in from your nose. Breathe out from your nose. During Zazen, so don't think of anything. If your thoughts come up, just let go of your thoughts. So we will have the Zen for one minute.
Please put your hands together in gusho and bow. Thank you very much. The next sampai bow three times to Buddha.
この苦毒をもってあまねく一切に目を通し我らと主上と皆ともに仏道を上善こそ。
Good morning, everyone. Aloha. Thank you very much for watching so, this live streaming service. So it's the end of August. So how are you? I hope you and your family are doing well. And in Hilo, the cases of the COVID-19 have been increasing since the middle of August. We still have to be careful. For me, I'm trying not to go outside during the day as much as possible. So I appreciate technological progress, so such as the live streaming. So thanks to the live streaming, uh, we can spend the meaningful time together. So I hope you are comfortable and will cultivate Buddha's compassion and wisdom so through this live streaming service. Moving on, today I'd like to introduce you to a Zen thing, so which I learned from a person who is so very important to me. So the person is uh, Reverend Shinryu Akita. So I think everybody knows. So he is the 13th resident minister of Taishoji. So as we informed you uh, in a, a previous newsletter, the Reverend Akita passed away June, uh, June 16th this year. So he was so 92 years old. He had worked at Taishoji for four, 10 years. So from uh, 70 years old to 80 years old. After that, he went to Saipan to build a temple to honor the memory of those who were killed in the war. He stayed in Saipan for three years and then went back to Japan. He was an active and smart person. So I had a chance to meet Reverend Akita several times. Once I asked him, so what is your most favorite Zen saying? He said, so Reverend Akita said, so Zuisho ni shuto nareba bisho mina shin nari. So Zuisho ni shuto nareba bisho mina shin nari. So today, I'd like to talk about this. So this Zen saying means, no matter the circumstances, if you have a will for anything and are <coughs> proactive, so you will be able to live a life worth living. In our daily life, if things don't turn out the way we expected, we tend to complain about it or throw them out. Our life doesn't turn out as planned. Actually, so there are many more cases when things go wrong than when things go well. I'd like to introduce you to a Buddhist story so about this. So about 2,600 years ago, after Buddha attained enlightenment, he visited the various places and shared his teachings to help people who are suffering. One day, a man heard that, that Buddha was staying in a town which the man knew, and that he started a journey to meet Buddha. So with his friend. So during the journey, so they were caught in a nasty storm. So and the man got separated from his friends. The man asked a shepherd for help and stayed one night at the shepherd's house. The next day, when the man left the house, the shepherd was looking for sheep that escaped from the storm. 
the men wanted to leave the house to meet Buddha so as soon as possible, but he decided to look for the sheep, so we the ship, shepherd. So since the shepherd took good care of him the previous night. So finally they found all the sheep, but it took three days. The man started the journey again. During the journey, the man stopped by the farm so since he wanted to drink the water. The man was about to leave the farm so quickly so after he drank. The farmer asked him for help to reap the harvest of vegetables. He decided to help and it took three weeks to finish. When the man arrived at the town where Buddha was staying, Buddha had already left. After that, the man tried to meet Buddha many times, but something always happened and the man didn't meet Buddha for 20 years. One day, the man heard that Buddha will go to Nirvana soon, near here. The man was really surprised, and it was a last chance to meet Buddha. So the man left his home to meet Buddha. But on, on the way, the man came upon an injured deer and abandoned it the deer, but he decided to return to take care of the He gave up trying to meet Buddha. When he arrived at the deer, he heard Buddha's voice. Buddha said, you don't have to find me anymore. Then the deer started shining and the deer changed to Buddha. Buddha said to the man, If you abandoned the deer, you would not meet me. But I was always watching your compassionate behavior. I, I will always be with you from now on. After the man listened to this, the man was so moved. Um, that his eyes were filled with tears for the end. So quite a story. Um, in this story, what was the man like? I thought the man was a generous person so because he gave, uh, pros um, pri he gave priority to a person in need over his own desires. And he didn't meet Buddha for 20 years. But finally, he understood that Buddha was always with him because his behavior was true action which Buddha cherishes. And um, back to the today's Zen word. So I felt I felt that the reverend Akita's the favorite Zen saying, so zui shō ni shū to nareba rishō mina shin nari, is the teaching so which the man followed. No guarantee that we own way. We sometimes might complain or get depressed. However, so we. When the things you don't expect happen, if you accept the situation and act positively, so you might discover new joy and happiness. Recently, everything doesn't turn out. For me, there are some unexpected things, such as cancellation, bond dance, and a Japan trip. But it's time to turn a negative situation into a positive situation. I started practicing new ukulele song 
and uh, my wife enjoys cooking and take care of our baby. We discovered new joy and happiness. Reverend Akita enriched his life through this then thing. So how about you? How can you make your life better? So, so no matter the circumstances, uh, let us live our life to the fullest with the precious opportunity which Buddha gave us. Thank you very much. Listening. So next, uh, page 18, uh, show me. to Buddha. Thank you very much for watching. Mahalo.